Welcome back everybody. It is time for another little Glios review. We just had a brand new toy pizza drop just a couple weeks ago for two different variants of the new cow's armor. And as you guys know, I did a review from the O'Neill drop with the Goss armor in his variant, but recently Toy Pizza just provided us with two Mars Shock Troopers. Now I only got one of the variants today, so I wanna showcase right here what the other variant looks like. They both look pretty dope. We're gonna check out the other one in just one second, but I wanna showcase this one because from the time of filming this, I know they still had a few of these available, but their site just went down for maintenance, so they're redoing a few things and keeping up with how the site is going to look in the store and everything. We recently just had the PowerCon as well, so I know they had some exclusives there. So you may wanna keep your eyes on the site for when they go live again. They may have more of these Mars Shock Troopers available, maybe a few extra other things from the Power Con, you never know. So again, Toy Pizza, the Knights of the Slice, go check them out, make sure to support. And if you didn't catch this wave, make sure to go follow them on their Instagram and everything too, so you don't miss out on the next variant that comes out of the Cow's Armor. These things are incredible. But let's go take a look at the other variant of the Mars Shock Trooper. Boom, let's do this. We've got our old Cow's Armor here. We've got the new package from Toy Pizza with the Mars Shock Trooper. Let's get it open. Pin. Now, there is something very cool and different about how O'Neill does their little packaging for the cow's armor and how Toy Pizza does it, and I'm a fan of this. I really like this. Let's see how they do their packaging for this guy. Oh boy, we've got like the... Oh, everything's falling. Guy fell over. We've got the classic looking kind of toy packaging flavor going on. They have the whole plastic little encased set up here it's very very cool they do have it in the plastic as well but i just love how nicely they do these there at toy pizza i haven't gotten one from toy pizza yet but i've seen how other people's come but there we go there is the mars shock trooper the version two i guess you could say the duller purple version but look at look at how nicely that's set up we can just check everything out straight from here the two different head pieces the cannon sitting in there the backpack and the guy himself looking all nice let's open it all right see they don't like clip in or anything it looks like they just yep they just sit in but that is fine it's that extra little effort that uh, goes a long way in my opinion let's see this dude let's check him out look at that crazy looking awesome pinks and purples got like the lockdown colors myself here on it we have that little touch of teal very similar to this one this is a duller teal this is a more vibrant teal i guess you could say the highlights of orange really sell this thing too i gotta say i really like how that that highlight of orange looks on this guy and oh i like that too i like how there's that pink little highlight underneath the shoulder pad and underneath the armpit that adds a lot to the detail i think something that we didn't see on the O'Neill one. Oh, this guy's armpit socket is coming out they can't bend a ton at the shoulder unfortunately uh, but i haven't noticed it to be like too much of a difficulty i know i've seen some people complain that the shoulders don't have enough movement sometimes i've heard people talk about how this needs an extra kind of like ball jointy thing in the chest for a little extra movement as well uh, obviously, comparatively to all the other Glios figures, uh, this guy's got a ton of freaking articulation, so I'm not complaining. I'm just happy with what we got. I think it's still just solid as it is. I'm sure improvements could always be made, you know, here and there, but I'm not one to really complain and just kind of enjoy the product for what it is and appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into these guys and all the hard work that those guys do on these figures. It's pretty insane. I mean, just look at this dude. He looks freaking awesome. I love the little teal, you know? It's only in like two spots, but it's a really unique three spots, I guess. The eyes, the top of the head, and the little ab piece. No teal highlights on the backside or anything, but that's all right. We've got the backpack here that adds a little bit more depth to it. That was a snug fit for the backpack, but looking sharp as always. I love the little jumpy poses you can do with these guys. It's such a nice looking figure. Ah. Oh and I was obsessed with taking photos of this guy from O'Neill, so I am gonna have a blast taking more photos with this dude. It's gonna be amazing. At Lockdown51 on Instagram, Secondary Hobby, Toy Photography, so go check out my stuff there. Also keeps you updated on a lot of the channel stuff too if you're not always popping on YouTube regularly. All right, let's check out some of the head stuff and whatnot. I'm not gonna fiddle too much this time around with swapping the headpiece uh, since we kind of checked it out last time and then you guys are pretty familiar. We dropping the piece though. We've got the little kind of more Gundam-esque headpiece which is always looking very sharp again we've got that nice kind of teal 
head visor going on on this one. And then we got our basic little kind of human head headpiece, as you would say. It's this kind of off pinkish color that we see highlighted on the figure himself. So that's the color that's going to be kind of matching as far as the head goes. Looks like his eyes, yeah, his eyes are orange. Hard to tell on the camera, but he does have the orange highlights on his eyelids there. And then of course we've got the nice looking cannon, which I am going to put on the figure because it just looks amazing on the figure. But the detail on this cannon is stellar. As always, I love the little details and variants of color mixed in with this one, as well as the other Mars Shock Trooper that I kind of showcased in the beginning. You can kind of pick your favorite from those. I think, I, I believe they did sell out of him though. Just FYI, he's gone, he's gone. But the other one, the green and red one, I believe, as I kind of explained in the beginning, they may or may not still be available. You're just gonna have to keep updating on the website and the socials for Toy Pizza. Uh, that would be your best bet for that. Ooh, that arm piece took a lot of effort to actually pop off. These things can get extra tight. Always be careful when you're bending these very fragile pieces, especially if they're cold, they will snap, they will break, so be careful. But there you go. There is the nice blaster hand going here, the little blaster cannon dude. Looks sick as always. Always looking epic in the poses. Just even a front-on shot like that looks sick. We can kind of get zoomed in here a little bit, take some closer detail looks at the whole figure himself. Check out that little detailing work on the backpack and everything. We've kind of looked at it before, but it's always good to appreciate again. His abs keep wanting to rotate away from his center, but you know, that's what they're there for. They're there to kind of bend and move around to give you that perfect, perfect angle for the perfect shot and look. I love how just sassy you can get with these poses here. I don't know what he's doing. Well, let's move that hand away. Bruh. He's doing something else that I wasn't really expecting, but so many unique stuff. I've got these guys sitting now, sitting on shelves, doing whatever, leaning against walls and whatnot. So many different aspects to take with these, especially if you start adding on more ball joints, more different pieces from like O'Neill and stuff to just add even more movement to this dude. It's incredible. Man, I really wish I could have gotten both figures. I was tempted, I was tempted, I was tempted by both. I actually didn't miss this drop this time around, which was excellent, because I've missed like the last two from Toy Pizza, which is, you know, <laughs> saying something. I'm usually on top of these things. Let's get a look together here. We'll put my little God Beast axe that I made for my other Gauss armor. We'll put that to the side. We'll kind of get a back-to-back -back view of how these guys are looking. I mean, how much more epic can you get, right? This is just incredible. I mean, pairing these two, if you've got all of these guys so far, congrats to you, man. I thought I was doing a good job with Mangalores, but I would have loved to have gotten all the first, like, additions and prototypes of this guy. It's pretty incredible, but imagine all of them lined up would be pretty insane. Sick looking figures and I'm just going to touch on again that this color variant, I love the more duller aspects of the color on this one. The other one was very bright, very, very vibrantly green and red, but the duller I think works quite well for these guys so far from what I see. Unless you have that nice clear orange translucent one, that one's fire. That one looks amazing too. Not much else to be said. We can take a look at these calves because they've got excellent calves too, honestly. You know what? I haven't appreciated the calves enough. I'm always appreciating the Mangalore calves, but not appreciating the cow's armor very much. Let's get a comparison here between them and the Mangalores. Ooh, who wins the calf battle? I don't know. We've got some kind of mech armory vibes going on or the scaly Mutiny creature from the Black Lagoon. Lagoon muscle up vibes. Let me know which one do you guys prefer for the calves. I also want to know who attended PowerCon here and how was it? I was not able to get over there. It's pretty far of a drive for me, but it looked amazing. So many cool new things. Big shout outs to all the creators that went and had like exclusives. Cat Beast Space had more mischievers. God Beast had some dope stuff. Geodrax has had some amazing looking exclusives for the PowerCon. Toy Pizza had their stuff. It looked fire. So many, so many cool things that my Instagram was lighting up on their stories all weekend long with so many cool things from the convention. It looks amazing. I really hope to attend uh, in next year or in the future or at some point 
It looks like a blast to join in on the Glios table set or Glios Alley. Yeah, Glios Alley. Sounds like a fun time. Another crushing killer there, Toy Pizza. Can't wait to see what you got in store for us next here. Hopefully we don't have to wait too long. You guys have been doing pretty good. I will compliment Toy Pizza as well. They've been pumping these guys out, different variants, different stuff, on a pretty consistent schedule, I would say, so far. So they're not really making us wait, and that's why i got to keep updated on their socials and stuff. I am going to list right here once again, Toy Pizza, thenightsofslice.com. Go check out their store. See if it's up yet. I don't know when their maintenance is going to be done, but keep tabs on it, on the Instagrams and stuff like that. Don't miss out on the awesomeness that <laughs> that is this armor set. It's so cool. That's going to do it for the video. Thank you very much. If you stayed all the way to the end, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. What has been your favorite cow's armor variant thus far out of all the ones we've gotten? And what are you looking forward to next? Make sure you stay tuned for more Glios videos very soon. I just ordered myself some of the new O'Neill drop. It's looking pretty dope. We've got a bunch of really sick looking armivores in the mix, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that review. Have a great rest of the week and we will catch you guys in the next video.